I've received my God particle and I got it with a little booklet and the thumb drive. And uh, the booklet is got a lot in it, so I really advise taking a look through that. You insert your thumb drive into USB port and you get something that looks like this. Okay, it brings up your file explorer and shows you the God games under the, for me, it's the D drive where I inserted that. Okay, I double click that and I come to God particle, okay, or God part. Then I'm going to double click that and it brings up the all the files that are in. now I go all the way down to the end and I'm going to click WGGE.exe. Double click that to your God particle and you find the location called uh, Gorbag's World. Gorbag's World. You will going through the doors and you'll come across an environment that looks a lot like this okay so this is a sculpture park and you can make your own sculpture here the way that you do and move and manipulate these pieces here these are in the God Editor, these pieces are known as objects, and they are girders, G-I-R-D-E-R-S. To access the ability to move these objects around and to color them and to turn them into a sculpture, you need to use the alt f6 key alt f6 it brings up a little mini window there which is kind of a mini little mini editor that we're going to be using now if you're on a laptop you might need to do uh, function alt f6 just an fyi okay now the way that i get into the objects window is I highlight it so that it becomes yellow and then I left click. So you you your mouse may not be directly over it. So now I've got it highlighted, but my mouse is actually over fog, but the yellow object is highlighted. So I'm going to left click there. And this brings up object edit with a name and then color scale rotate move i'm going to hover my mouse so that this yellow box opens up next to name i left click and the box becomes red now i'm going to type in the object name that i'm going to look for g i r d one okay then i hit enter okay now I've got GERD1, and I see that the editor has enabled me to use the color. So if I see Use Color, it says Yes, which is really good because there's a toggle switch there between Yes and No. But right now it's enabled as Yes. OK, if it's toggled in no in the editor, I'm doing this slightly differently. You highlight it so it becomes yellow and you click it up to yes. See how when I drag down, it becomes no. Drag up, it becomes yes. OK. Now, how do I know which girder I have? Well, I've enabled the color. Use color. Yes. And now let's just play with the red. I'm going to hover over until I find the color turning yellow. I'm going to left click 
And now I'm going to see which one of these is going to turn red or lack of red. I'm taking all the red out of it by going to zero, and I see which is my number one girder. Okay, so let's do uh, take a little blue and see what happens when I add some blue to that or take blue out. You'll find as you play with these, going down takes the color out, going up takes the color, adds the color. Okay, so that's a nice, I hope that that's visible to you. Now I'm going to rotate it. Again, I make sure to rotate, yes. I, if it said no, I would just highlight it and toggle it up. Here's my Z. Oh, there you go. So that is pretty easy to see that you can play around with your rotation, okay? And movement, Z brings it to me and away from me. Again, you, I'm not right on the Z with my mouse, but you'll get used to finding out where the, um, the mouse needs to be in relation to. I hit save and I make sure the yellow is highlighted. Okay. 